an important 40 minutes for our basketball team, for the, for the emotional uh, stability of this group, considering we just come, we're coming off of a really hard loss um, on Saturday at Lafayette, where the ball just didn't bounce our way. We made a few mistakes. I made some schematic mistakes, and here we are back in the same similar opportunity, similar moment, and I thought we executed much better. So it's a great win because it's a conference win, but more importantly, it's just another step in the direction. This team has a goal. And uh, this was another uh, another opportunity to, to work towards that goal. So talked about their physicality pregame. We talked about it actually for the last two days. Um, you know, the academies in general, they play hard all the way to the, to the buzzer. And uh, this team is no different. Um, you know, their point guard is one of the more dynamic players that I've seen in the Patriot League. And it's in my time here. Uh, he's just tough, tough to cover. I mean, he is uh, fearless, physical, seems like he's got a, a battery that never runs out. And, uh, you know, those type of players can always win you games. And I thought we did a good job of making it hard for him to score. Joshua Doe is a senior. Um, he's got a great attitude. I can say that there's so many people in this community that really just enjoy his presence. And uh, at the same time, he loves the game. He's in the gym all the time. He's constantly in our offices. And when you have a player like that who is just looking for the ball to go in, to give him a little confidence, it was, it was really nice for me to see, for him to feel that emotion again. Um, you know, he's one of our more instinctive scorers, and I felt like tonight was uh, hopefully, well, you know, give him a little more confidence going forward. I rely so much on Jack, his experience and his talents. Uh, he's our Iron Man. He's our workhorse. He played 19 minutes in the first half. I went to him uh, right before we started the second to ask kind of you know how he felt, uh, being that we just had a really tough game. He played 40 plus minutes at Lafayette, and uh, he'll let me know when he wants to to come out. But what I thought he showed today was poise. Uh, he does get a lot of opportunities within the course of our offense. That's a testament to our our players, who are starting to understand the role. You know, they really value what he brings to the table, um, and they try to find him. But they went zone. He showed poise. He saw the rim. It was really important for us for him to, to make those shots, and it will continue to be important for him, for us to make those shots. Yeah, I mean, nothing will, will change in terms of our approach and our attitude. I think that what you notice around the league is uh, really any game, well, you know, come down to a couple possessions. So what, what I'm assuming, based off what I've seen from Army, is they play really hard. They play really connected. Uh, Kevin Kulik does a really good job, like all the coaches in this league. And, uh, you know, what you, you see a team like Army who is on the bottom part of the standings, um, and you would assume their attitude would reflect that, and it doesn't. And you can clearly see their body language, their energy and effort levels are that in which are very competitive. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that they won tonight, and we're going to have to play a good brand of basketball. I think that if we go with this hard hat mentality that we've uh, created in our locker room, then I think, uh, you know, see what happens.